All right, hi, so I'm Joe Delizio here with the National Weather Service El Paso, and let's talk about our winter storm system for Sunday into Sunday night. Now, our uh, storm system currently, or at least early Friday, is located well out in the North Pacific. This will track southeast into the U.S. and approach our area early Sunday morning, and then throughout the day on Sunday as well into Sunday night. But this will be our precipitation generator. Um, the next uh, ingredient here is going to be our cold air. So we have teens and 20s to our east right now. Again, on Friday, it's going to be in the 50s and 60s. Uh, but that cold air will eventually work its way into the region. Let's sort of track that now. Uh, so here's Sunday at sunrise. Again, the blue line denotes where the cold air is. So it's east of El Paso and Hudsonville County in the far eastern areas. At this time, our storm system is beginning to approach. We're getting some precipitation breaking out, mainly towards the western areas, but again, the mountains as well. By 2 p.m. Sunday, the cold front has moved to the west, and it's pretty close to the Rio Grande Valley at this point, maybe just to the west, but... This is when we're going to get our cold air. And again, when this front does move through, you will get these breezy east winds, uh, perhaps some gusts of 35 miles per hour along west slopes. But this point, it will be snowing heavy at times across Otero County and uh, across Hudsonville County as well. Perhaps a mix of rain and snow along the Rio Grande Valley. And west of this cold front, it will be some light rain with some light snow across the mountains by 8 p.m. The cold front is almost to the Arizona border, and uh, we're left over with some light snow showers for the most part across the Rio Grande Valley and farther east, maybe some moderate snow still developing. And as we head Sunday night into early Monday morning, there'll be a few lingering snow showers, but for the most part, it'll clear out by then. Um, so that leaves us with total accumulations again east of the Rio Grande. We're going to see the greatest impacts and the greatest threats. So 4 to 8 inches, generally speaking, across Hudsonville County uh, into the Otero Mesa. And then a general 6 to 10 to 6 to 12 inches across portions of the Sacramento Mountains. Um, east of the Rio, outside of these zones, you could see a general 2 to 4 inches. And again, 1 to 2, maybe up to 3 across, across the Rio Grande. We'll continue to fine-tune this forecast. There's still a little bit of uncertainty if that cold air gets in here in time. I mean, I'm not going to forget about the helo as well. General 4 to 8 inches with a couple across truth or consequences. But west and south of that, Deming, Lordsburg, not expecting all that much. In-depth look at the temperatures here. Temperatures will be falling throughout the day. So sunrise Sunday will be in the 40s. By the midday, we'll be in the 30s along the Rio. By sunset, we'll be below freezing um, in teens and single digits east. So temperatures will be falling throughout the day. It'll feel very cold with that wind. And the morning lows on Monday, Sunday night into Monday, will be in the teens most locations, uh, tens and, and single digits east of the Rio Grande River. So very cold temperatures out there. And we will kind of rebound Monday afternoon for the high temperatures at least a little bit. Um, we'll be in the 40s across the Rio Grande, and west of there will be in mid-40s to uh, low 50s. But east of there, notice Cloudcroft, 20 degrees for a high. Dell City, 29. So we are staying, keeping that chilly air mass across the eastern portions of, of the forecast area. And uh, Monday morning, if we go back a little bit, Monday morning with those temperatures, we'll have a little bit of a wind that'll make it feel even colder. Single digits across much of the area, including El Paso, and uh, below zero farther east. So a very cold and sort of dangerous morning on Monday. And here are our current watches and warnings. Here's where we have the potential to see several inches of snow. Uh, again, the locations we were sort of talking about and highlighting the mountains and uh, east of the Rio. Um, less confidence along the Rio Grande. There may be advisories. Let's go back for a second. There may be advisories issued um, in the next coming days, but we'll wait to see with more model data for that. But again, the potential is there for several inches of snow in these uh, watch areas. And the certainty is the timing of the cold front when that cold air does get in there and if there's enough precipitation left over for there to be a couple inches of snow across the Rio Grande Valley. And to close it up here with some impacts, again, the moderate and heavy snow with any sort of wind will reduce visibility and create those slick roadways. And then any 
it doesn't matter what the precipitation is on Sunday. Sunday night, any of that water is going to freeze, uh, creating possibly slippery roadways, especially elevated roadways. Then again, the below zero wind chills will be very dangerous. You know, protect the four Ps, people, pipes, plants, and pets. And, you know, we have our social media here, and we will be updating the forecast constantly. So, thank you.